Hi, I'm Paul Bailey, Technical Manager of Rotoval. I'm here today to explain about squealing. Squealing comes in two parts. It can either be metal to metal or it can actually be product related. Metal to metal is fairly simple. It can either be trapment of product that actually gets caught between the vein and the housing because of the tight clearance. That can be something like straw, swarf, angel hairs from plastic conveying, which is diagnosable quite easily. It gets trapped. It causes the rotor to then push against the body in the end cover, which causes the squealing to actually occur. The other point is, of course, it could do with pressure differential. If the pressure differential is incorrect or the temperature is incorrect, then the clearance that you've actually specified initially is not sufficient for the expansion to actually occur, which then causes the rotor to touch the body in the end covers. This then can be easily eliminated by knowing what the correct temperature is. We then go on to product related issues. You do have the problem that every single product in the food industry especially has moisture content. It's what degree of moisture the content is and also what temperature it actually reacts at. Products have a tendency to smear or glaze, as they would call it, onto the body bore and end covers. So, of course, when the rotor is coming around, it's wiping the actual bore, it's wiping the end cover. So, gradually, you start to create layers of layers of material actually onto the housing. So, to actually prevent that, you can come up with different ways, primarily in the rotor design. Rotor design can be chamfered and scallop pockets to let the product easily fall out the pocket. We can actually incorporate two scraper blades that are attached to here, which what that does is actually stops the actual product from glazing onto the bore because you're in the nature of the name scraper blades, you're actually scraping the actual bore and end covers. And of course, when it comes to the actual housing itself, having a highly polished surface will actually help the flow of product off the surface. And of course, again, we always talk about it, maintenance. Maintenance of the equipment is very, very important, whether it's operational maintenance or normal, regular maintenance on a yearly basis. Operational maintenance is to do with being able to take the actual valve apart while you're still actually in situ. Our fast clean version, HDMF, is actually a device that can actually be pulled the end cover and rotor out as one piece. You can get in, you can clean the rotor, clean the pockets out, you can actually clean the clearances, clean out the bore and then put it back together again. It's all preset and you're up and running. So the basis of any product that has a tendency to smear is make sure you have the design of your equipment suitable for what you're actually handling. So the main criteria is polished surfaces, chamfered edges, serrated veins to stop product from build up and have the ability to pull the valve apart. Once you've got all those combined, a valve will last for a very, very long time and you will not have any operational issues. I hope I've explained the difference between the squealing side between metal to metal and product related. Please do not hesitate to contact us if you have any further issues. Thank you.